All right, Pandora, let's go. We're on. I'll be on it all night, man. I'll be on it straight up. Pimp, if you want me, you can find me in the air. Hey, I'm on it. I'm on it. Sorry. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> what song is that? Big boy. Oh. I'm no, on it. <laughs> no, it's big boy. My yo. Yo, yo, yo. My yo. Is it filming or what? Yeah, you're not gonna wear your, a prom? My prom? Yeah. No, because it's wrinkly and man don't do wrinkles. She's looking at the screen. I'm so dead. You're filming that? You're filming that? Say action. You're filming creds. <laughs> filming creds the Salem story. <laughs> All right. All right, so. Take it away, bud. Welcome back to Shooter's Kitchen. Today, I'm going to make something for you guys, just like every other time. I've seen it. One of the local restaurants in my city. They're like a dumpling bar. Dumpling, like an Asian steamed dumpling bar. And they had a special one night. I don't know if it's still on their menu or if it's just a special, but they had a Big Mac dumpling. And the idea, I stole it. <laughs> I didn't taste theirs, I didn't go there, I didn't see what's in theirs. I have no idea how they made it. But this is my little twist on it. For ingredients, we have one Are white you... onion. Okay, I was gonna say, you're bringing it up or I'm gonna pan we it have down. White onion, one white onion. We have Napa cabbage. This is what Napa from Dragon Ball Z <laughs> is named after. The bald Saiyan. Never got to go Super Saiyan because he got killed like a bum. And he was bald anyway, so he just would have got yellow eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> a pound of ground beef. Thousand Island salad dressing. We can have a war in the comments Wait, section. Wait, why didn't you? This is Big Mac sauce. Why didn't you buy the Big Mac sauce? It's sold out in three different grocery stores. Shut your mouth. It's sold out at TNT, Loblaws, and Food Basics. All three of them have temporarily out of stock signs. That's now. ridiculous. We go in full every time. Every time. Every time. Sold out. Big Mac sauce is sold out, but fuck Big Mac sauce. This you want to know why it's sold out? It's Big Mac sauce. Because they the, found The dumpling place bought all of this, the, uh, the oh. dressing. They can't go to McDonald's and get it. So they went and bought it all off the shelf. Little fuckers. Yeah. I'm going there tonight and I'm choking them out. <laughs> but I don't care what they say. This this is big. We can fight. We can meet up and fight anyone who says <laughs> Thousand Island dressing is not Big Mac sauce. Just warm. Warm Thousand Island dressing is Big Mac sauce. And dumpling wrappers. I'm using dumpling wrappers today because if I sit here and make the dumpling wrappers, it's going to take like 40 minutes. We ain't got a 40 time. minute long We're claiming video. my time. It is flour, water, warm water, and salt to okay. make these. That's it. I will put a recipe <laughs> in the description box below. If you want them to be like chewy and more authentic, it's wheat flour, cornstarch, salt, water. And some beef stock that I had left over in the fridge because pro tip of the day if I just steam them with just the ground beef in them the green beef the, the green beans <laughs> the beef is gonna dry out and no one likes dry dry ground beef want it juicy we want to bite into our dumpling and just so that's what we're gonna do today I don't know don't know so where are we gonna start we're gonna chop shit up so let's zoom into the cutting board babe well, I dice my onion, shred and dice my napa, cabbage. That's all we're doing right now. Big ass onion. This onion. This onion. That's a big fucking onion for real. It's huge. GMOs, man. GMOs. No smoke. No smoke. You know what? It's been a long time since I did a fast mow in a shooter's kitchen, so we're about to do a fast mow for this onion. I was watching a, a Instagram clip earlier. The next step, boss. The next step, boss. We're gonna shred up some Napa cabbage and dice it up too. 
everything nice. Everything small and nice so we can fit inside the dumpling. Then back to chopping oh. cabbage. Oh. Chop up the cabbage just like a savage. Chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. Chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. Mama, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's the difference between Napa cabbage and regular cabbage? The shape? different shape and texture of cabbage, babe. What about the taste? It's cabbage. It's a cabbage taste. All my niggas TTG and yeah, they let it go. All of my niggas on my shit. I'm using Napa cabbage because there's lettuce on a Big Mac, like shredded lettuce. And imagine putting <laughs> lettuce in a fucking dumpling. What's gonna happen to it? It's gonna go mush and gross. This will hold up a little bit better and it tastes better. What do you just say, Mama? VBS is diamonds on me froze. All my niggas TTG, and yeah, they trying to go. Came up from the bottom, niggas had me in the car. All my niggas TTG, and yeah, they let it go. They were using that blue ball. So you're gonna go over to your sink and you're gonna wash your pounded ground beef with soap and water. Okay? <laughs> In the bowl. Hands are clean. Clean your hands. Don't be a dud to you. Smash that up. I hope they know can you can see in the bowl? Yes, I can see in the bowl. And we're just gonna grab our onions and cabbage. Boom. In there. What? What are you doing? I'm just mixing up. I'm making my Big Mac. This is my Big Mac meat. <laughs> Onion, lettuce, ground beef. This is our sesame seed bun here. And that's our Thousand Island dressing. Big Mac. What are you doing to your meat? Men's don't beat their meat, eh? <laughs> Men's make y'all beat their meat. Babe, get over here and beat this meat for me. Are you dumb? <laughs> You must be out of your cot if you get wine. You're just supposed to tell me that you're full. What does TPJ call it? Beefcake. It's beefcake. Come fold my beefcake for me. You don't want your beefcake to be folded first of all. Now you see we have this and it looks like you could just... Like it looks like you could make burger patties out of it. You want it to be more of like a... A more soft... More uh... You want this to be more of a paste and that's what the beef stock comes in for. So we're gonna just add some beef stock. Just a little tiny bit. We don't want it to turn into a soup. I'm gonna just blend that in there. Loosen it up, that's what you wanna do. You wanna loosen it up. You don't want it to be too tight and dry. Like your gal. Like your gal's fucking braid up under her weave. What is wrong with you? I am who I am. And then here's where we add the Big Mac sauce. Let me know if you guys want your chef yelling into your Big Mac <laughs> meat. Talking about some Big Mac sauce. I yelled at What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I'm like, so why are you trying to cut, cut the, the top, top off? off? I'm like, that's some Big Mac sauce. That's what I thought you were trying to do. I thought you were cutting the top off because that was there. <laughs> Big Mac sauce in the place. That much? Oh my god. So we added some Big Mac sauce. I might add more, but that's what we're adding to begin with. I'm just going to fold that in too. You're, gonna, you're supposed to bite into this dumpling and just feel like you're eating a Big Mac. <laughs> I have no idea if this is even how they make it at the restaurant. Though. Probably should have went and tried them first. I mean, that doesn't smell like a fucking Big Mac to you. Yeah, it smells like it a Smells Big like Mac. a fucking Big Mac. <laughs> it's gonna taste like a Big Mac too. I actually don't like Big Macs. I don't like McDonald's. Yeah, I don't fuck with McDonald's either, but if I can make Big Mac dumplings, I'm gonna make Big Mac dumplings on Shooter's Kitchen. Return of the Mac! Hey. We're gonna use that as the intro video for it. <laughs> intro song for this. Sorry, I'm not getting copyright on that. Gucci. Oh, I thought I can do the 15 seconds with any song. No. I don't know why. Then I'll just sing it. That's funny. Oh, I'm gonna add even a little bit more. There we go. This looks like a fucking tuna salad. <laughs> just keep folding that in. Joke of the day, playboy. Look at the day a shooter doesn't have a fucking joke. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, is that so much? Sam's trying to give the yoga of the day. There we go. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one, Salem. That was a good one, Salem. She wasn't done. You didn't even get to the punchline yet? And then what? The camera's a little shaky here. We're gonna move our cutting board aside now, cause it's a, we're about to start making dumplings. Return of the milk. My, am I fucking ca my Caucasian just came out? Salt and pepper this bitch. Wow. Cause you don't know wow. that even McDonald's is all you're using salt and pepper. Man's are about to make some tasteless <laughs> dumplings. <laughs> they would taste perfectly fine. I'm sure there's enough salt in that and stock onion? and the. The Thousand Island dressing. Uh huh. Pepper that bitch. Good I'm at, pepper I, dust. I'm at work, we religiously salt and pepper everything. No matter how seasoned something is, before you send it out, salt and pepper to taste. A lady came in our work talking about what can she get? She's allergic to black pepper. Said not a damn thing. You get one salad with no dressing on it. <laughs> Even the dressing has pepper. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Even the salad dressing is salt Who and pepper. Who the hell is allergic to pepper though? That's wild. Black pepper and bell peppers. I couldn't live my life with no black pepper. Come on. Bless you. Boom, there's our meat. It's hey, ugly, it's, I, it's ugly and it looks like I'm about to make Granny's meat loaf. No, lift it up a little. There you go. So now here's where things get, here's where things get exciting. I'm gonna talk on our dumpling phone. We're gonna make a call to the dumpling man real quick. Because I need some dumplings. You're going to call yourself. Yeah. Because I'm ready. I've been ready my whole life to make some dumplings. Dumplings. Okay. Here's a, here's a brief warning. Up on you? Yes. Brief warning. I have never made dumplings before. I'm winging it right now. <laughs> so we're in for a show. Let's go. Dumpling in your hand. You're going to wet the sides all around. Your gal gets wet all around watching Shooter's Kitchen. Don't overstuff yet. Don't talk to me about overstuff and I'll overstuff your gal. You did and then look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> boo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be on your boo in Shooter's Kitchen, eh? <laughs> A boom, dumpling, fold it at the corners. Then you're gonna fold these corners all across like this. <laughs> Can you guys even see? We're gonna do pleats all the way across. I've never done this, so don't make fun of me, people. Especially the, is this Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese, what is it? I don't know, Chinese dumplings. And then you bring the other half of the dumpling. Where is it? You're gonna do it again, but that's fine. That one's mad ugly, I think, but we're gonna get better as we go here. Just, just watch my progression. There's this one. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> this is an ugly ass dumpling. But we'll get better as we go. Watch. This is how shooter. This is how shooter gets it down. I'm gonna explain one more time what we're doing this one. Wet the edges. <clears throat> like you know, right before you add your edge control and brush them down. So wet your edges real quick. You're gonna pleat one side all the way across. Can you move? Your hands closer to me, towards me, please. Yeah. Right there. Keep pleating all the way across. Man, I might have to go watch a fucking video because I don't know what I'm doing. But that's what's great about Shooter's Kitchen. You don't have to know. It's all Just about do. the end result. Just do. Voila, dumplings. I think I'm doing this. That one's better than the last one, right? Yeah, sad times. And then watch as I keep going. It's gonna get better and better. Cause that's what that's what cooking's all about. You make one, it's subpar. Like this. Life is like dumplings. No matter what you're doing. You get one, it's like this. You're like you're a waste man. Get off the block, bro. What are those? Those aren't even real J's, bro. That Gucci belt is fake. And then you come back with the with the real Gucci belt, but you're still wearing the same J's. <laughs> and then right now. 
We're gonna come with the real Gucci belt and the real J's right now. What an analogy. Wow, I'm amazed. Are you? No. <laughs> you told me you told me make it more Toronto? <laughs> so I did. She's so fed up with whatever. I know. I seen a man do this with one hand. Pleat. Want some banana mama? Pleat. You can handle banana. Pleat. Pleat. That was the wrong way of pleat. A pleat, yeah, pleat me. Remember? You're getting the real J's right now, but. Yeah, we're coming with the real J's, don't worry. We're coming with the fucking space jams right now. Man's on the block are still wearing fucking Air Force Ones and you're about to show up with the Space Jams on the black Duncan. ones with the strap. Oh man. <laughs> now we're gonna bring this in. Boom, then you show up with the real J's. You went from this to this, but we're gonna keep going here. The first one is so ugly compared to the ones I'm, I'm making now. I'm embarrassed. Alright, welcome back. That took a little while because I'm not a professional dumpling maker. I'm going to show you guys the progression from the first one to the last one. Second. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. And it keeps getting better as we go. Until we get to the end. Perfect dumpling. Look at that one. And that's the real Gucci button. Real Jake. No, now you're out here with the fucking Ferragamo belt, the Giuseppe's. You got on a fucking icy chain, a gorillas, and you're wavy. Montclair, Montclair jacket, Montclair everything. That's what that is. Don't come around with the fake jort. You're a damn shooter though, right? Okay. So you know about shooter shooting this shot and missing? My head's behind the camera. I'm looking at the garbage can through the fucking viewfinder. <laughs> and I shot with my left. Give me a break. So now that we have our dumplings folded, like you fold them, man, if you catch them at STC, we're gonna get our steam basket going. Oh, I thought you had feathers on the back of your shirt for a second, but it's the numbers. Oh. So for the steamer, looks like this inside. You can put a banana leaf and put the dumplings on top. Or you can put parchment paper. You also have to have your sous chef here, but he's out with gyal. <laughs> like a fucking real love him on some. No shade, no tea time. Last week we had a big talk about bros before hoes. And now he's out here. Putting hoes before Putting the bros? Putting hoes before bros. <laughs> Pathetic. So boom, whatever, that's our circle. Don't diss my circle. Looking like a teardrop. Oh, uh, come for you. What, it needs air plugs or something? Yeah. You can get these without holes punched in them already for this exact purpose. But the steam needs to get through somehow, right? Cool. And you're just gonna place these around. We're gonna get some steam going. How do you get some steam going, shooters? Some of you might be asking at home. You get your Pyrex. <laughs> Just put enough water to cover the bottom of the pan. What's your thing on high? Max! You, want the, you need the water to boil. That's how we get water to boil. We put it on max. Cool. You see the steam? Off the rip. Steam yes, up. Yes, we see it. I'm not using it. We're going to put that in there. And what, what you want to make sure when you're doing this is that that doesn't run dry. So for the like 10 minutes, 9, 12 minutes those are in there, you need to make sure there's water the whole time. So how, do you, Look at that. you can just keep adding water around the sides? Yeah, just pour water on the side here. 
So now we got steam going. Dumplings in. Lid on. Oh, that pot looks like it's seen better days. That pan. Yeah, it has. <laughs> and just keep some water there so you can just keep adding some water. And then we wait for our dumplings. Let me clean up. We'll be back. We'll be back over the short commercial break. So we're about five minutes in. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in there. All right, they've been in there for about 10 minutes and they're done. We'll bring our dumplings over here. Make sure you use a towel, guys. You don't want to be burned. Yeah, you don't want this, this burn right here. That burn is no joke. I told. Okay, Munchie, so I So for plating, I pickled some red onions earlier. And you get this nice pink onion thingy going on. It is just sugar and lime juice and you let them rest for a while. We're just gonna put a bunch of them in the middle there. And plate around them. They're pretty, right babe? They're, yeah, they're really pretty. And they taste good. That's a nice plate. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. And then? Dump it in. Because that stock I put in there, there's like a nice soup in there, like uh, like soup dumplings. But not as much as a soup dumpling, obviously. For some garnish, I'm gonna walk over to my garden. Did you just freak out because you're super high? <laughs> super high? Yeah, like she was up in the air and I guess she didn't realize how high she was. She looked down and she freaked out. What a pretty, pretty plate. You're just gonna pick up a mandem like they haven't been growing for days? They grow right back. See? I promise you guys I'll never use tweezers on Shooter's Kitchen no matter how fancy my cooking gets. I'm not gonna use no fucking tweezers. So that's what we got today on Shooter's Kitchen. A Big Mac dumpling, but it looks fancy. It doesn't look like it's a Big Mac dumpling. Come do your pan. So we're gonna do our sick little panas right now and we're gonna eat them. So we're back, and it's time to taste some dumpling. Are you gonna have one, babe? Let me try it. Do you have a little bit of enthusiasm? It's just a Big Mac. I don't like Big Macs. I never had since I was a child. Oh. I've been on Chinese food either. Wait, you're supposed to dip dumplings. What do you dip this into? Sweet Thousand sour Island sauce? dressing? <laughs> Sweet and sour sauce? Pink sauce? Oh. I could have made them way prettier. Oh. Give me a freaking bite so I can get out of here. Oh. I really wish you, can you, you didn't put the freaking thousand island on it. Dumpling? Oh. I didn't want you don't have to eat the whole thing. Oh! Mmm! That's kind of good. I'm, I'm not mad at that. It's just like a big map! Except in a dumpling. <laughs> Thanks, babe. So. I'm here for that ground beef. Mm-hmm. With a little bit of mom's sweet tea in the fridge, you're sleeping. Let me try with some of this red onion here.
And that was Shooter's Kitchen, Big Mac Dumplings. I'll shout out the restaurant, it's called Roku Bar and Bites. It's in Ottawa, it's on Somerset somewhere. I'll put the address in the link below, because I stole their idea. Even though you can't copyright my recipe. <laughs> Signing up.